Well, hello there, Minecrafters. Thanks for coming by, and welcome to our tutorial on how to transfer structures from one Minecraft world to another Minecraft world using the structure block. So today we are going to be transferring this beautiful blocky car here. You may recognize it if you've been with the channel for a bit. It's from an old useless concept video, but anyway, we're going to be transferring this car from this world into a brand new world so that you'll know how to do that on your own. Now this could be something that maybe you make really cool and you want to show a friend so you want to like send them the file over the internet or maybe you just download something that you really really like. I'm going to show you how to put those folders into your map and then you can just load them as a structure file. So let's begin here and I should tell you that I'm assuming you guys understand how structure blocks work to save and the load. I'm not going to go into too much detail there. If you want me to do a tutorial, I'd love to do it. Let me know in the comments. Otherwise, there's tons of tutorials on YouTube. You can just check out how they work. Okay, so the first thing we need to do if we're going to share this with a friend or, you know, with the world, we need to give ourselves a structure block. So I'm just doing that right now. There we go. And I'm going to break right there at the corner of the uh, of the structure. I'm going to put that block in there and I'm going to change it to, I skipped it here, save. And let's call it car. And I'm going to control pick block that... Uh, that structure block so that I have the same MBT attached or the same name and I'm just I'm actually holding space and shift so I can fly and place blocks at the same time and just break those out and I change this to a corner oops, not card car I change this to a corner block so the C and just make sure I've got it all in range there yep I go back to the first one and I select it and I press detect and now we have a box highlighting the whole structure. That's exactly what I want. That is the structure that I want to uh, save over and share with the world. And uh, so the next thing we need to do is we need to save this as a structure file. So there's two ways to activate this block. You can do it with a redstone signal. That doesn't actually save it as a file. It just saves it in the RAM or uh, just kind of in the current game that's being opened. We want to create a file. So we click on the block again and we press the save button. You'll see structure saved as car. So we've got our file ready to go. It's on our computer. We'll find that in a minute. But the next thing we want to do is we want to create the new world. So I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to go to single player. There's the world we were just in. I'm going to create a new world and let's call it something really easy to find. Uh, let's call it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go. Very simple and uh, creative. I'm just going to make a flat world here with uh, redstone ready. That's what I usually do. Done. Create new world and it'll be a blank, you know, generic just like our last world with nothing in it. So we have it here. We know what the title is. I'm going to get out of here and we're going to put that file inside that world. So the way we want to do that is we want to find the file and we go to options off of the title menu or the, the main screen, whatever it is. And you go to resource packs and then you click this open resource pack folder. And that is going to bring us into our resource pack folder on our computer. Now I believe this works the same for Mac. I've been told it does, but uh, this is obviously Windows. Anyway, here we are in the resource pack folder. You can see up here, if I go back to Minecraft, that is our main root folder for all of the Minecraft stuff. You don't have to actually search for it. It just brings it up when you click open resource pack folder. And then you want to go down to saves. And that is going to bring us to all of our saves. I have a lot of saves in my, uh, in my Minecraft, or all of our Minecraft worlds. And we're going to go to the one where we saved the actual car structure file or whatever the structure file you, you wanted to share. We're going to go into that. That's another Minecraft. This was this is the one right here. And you can see I have a structures folder here. So double click that and it gives me my structure car.mbt. I'm going to copy that. And if I'm going to share it with a friend, this is the file I'm going to send to them or upload on the internet, wherever we want to share this. Uh, that's the file that we need to send to people so they can open it. Now, let's say we're the person who wants to open that file. So we go to that website or we uh, get from our friend this, this cool car MVT structure and they give it to us. So where do we put it? We go to the world that we want to put it in. So remember, we created that one, two, three, four. There it is right there. One, two, three, four, five. We do that and we don't have a structure folder. So all we have to do is we have to create one. So I'm just going to make one quick right here, structures, make sure it's spelt properly. And we do that and I'm going to paste it in here 
and now we have Carta MBT in the uh, in that folder ready to be opened. So now we just go back into Minecraft, and all we have to do is open up our world. So remember, it's one, two, three in this case. We're gonna play the selected world, and uh, as it loads here, the first thing we have to do is we have to give ourselves a structure block. Oops, structure block. Okay, I'm going to set it down on the ground. I'm going to type in, well, first I'm going to go to load and I'm going to type in car and press done. Oh, I'll actually press load. And there we go. We've got uh, the hitbox is about the same size as what it was supposed to be. And if I press load again, or I can even do it with a redstone signal, there is our structure. <laughs> That's exactly what we want to do. So that pretty simple i think especially with just clicking on open resource pack folder you don't have to search for that app data thing that a lot of people have told you anyway i hope that helps guys this is definitely i had to do this pre-video for some of the files i want to send you guys and just for a little bit of an experiment or a little test i'm going to in the description there is a a uh, structure it's not this one it's a different structure i want you guys to download and you can put it in your own world it, and i would suggest just create a brand new world create a uh, a grass super flat world that would work the best and put it into your map and play around with it and then let me know what you think of it but anyway guys thanks for watching hope you enjoyed that hopefully it's helpful and we will see you next time enjoy your minecrafting and have a great day